In today's video, we're going to be looking at all the different types of numbers that you need to know about. And we can split them into two different groups. Those that are rational, like integers, fractions, and terminating or occurring decimals. And those that are irrational, like thirds. So in this video, we'll go through them one by one and look at some examples of each. If we start with integers, this is just another name for a whole number. So it could be a positive whole number, like 5, 13, or 412. Or it could be a negative number, like minus 11, or minus 92. As long as it's a whole number, then it counts as an integer. And 0 also counts as an integer. In contrast to this, fractions are only parts of a whole number, and we write them as one integer, like 3, over, or divided by, another integer, for example 8, which in this case would give us 3 eighths. To put this into practice, if you had a pizza, and you cut it up into 8 equal slices, you would have divided it by 8. And if somebody then ate 3 of those slices, they'd have eaten 3 eighths of the pizza, or eaten 3 over 8. And so you'd be left with 5 eighths of the pizza, because you only have 5 of those 8 slices left. The other important thing to know about fractions is that we have special names for these two numbers. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom one is the denominator. Now, terminating and recurring decimals are both examples of rational numbers, but they are two different things, and you need to understand what that difference is. Terminating decimals are numbers like 0 0.5, or 0 0.625, which have a limited number of decimal places. For example, 0 0.5 only has one decimal place, which is the 5. And 0 0.625 has three decimal places, the 6, the 2, and the 5. In contrast, recurring decimals continue indefinitely like 0 0.66666 going on forever. We obviously don't want to write out an infinite number of sixes though. So instead, you can put a dot above the digit that recurs. So for this one, you could just write out 0 0.6 and then put a little dot just here above the six to show that it's the six which is recurring. For more complicated ones, like 0 0.123, 123, 123, and so on, it's the whole 123 part which is recurring. So we place the dots above the 1 and the 3, because the 1 is the first number that recurs, and the 3 is the last number that recurs. Or as another example, in this number, it's the 4781 which is recurring. So we could rewrite it as 0 0.4781 and then place dots above the 4 and the 1. Another thing you need to be aware of is that because terminating and recurring decimals are both examples of rational numbers, we can write them in a fraction form as well. For example, 0 0.5 is the same thing as 1 half and 0 0.625 is 5 eighths. Then 0 0.6 recurring equals 2 thirds, and 0 0.123 recurring equals 123 over 999. Now, the last thing we need to cover are irrational numbers, which are much harder to write, because their decimals continue forever but they don't repeat. 
so they look like a random string of numbers going on forever. The main place you'll see irrational numbers are thirds, which we cover in detail in another video, but are basically square roots of non-square numbers, like the square root of 2, which would be something like 1.414213, but would continue on forever without any pattern. In contrast, if we square root a number like 9, then that doesn't count as a third, because 9 is a square number, and we can simplify square root 9 to 3. Another example of an irrational number is pi, which would be somewhere on your calculator, and starts as 3.14159, but again goes on forever, and doesn't have any pattern. So to sum up this video, a rational number is basically any number that has a limited number of decimal places and can be written as a fraction, whereas irrational numbers are those that continue on forever, and so to write them down we always have to round them. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so hope you found it useful. If you did, then be sure to give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.